Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. The topic for today's program is the presidency of our newly elected President, Barack Obama. A month or so before the election, I warned the American people that Barack Obama would be the last President of the United States and the last King of the South. Since my first prophecy has come true, that is, that he was elected president, my next two prophecies also will come true. Because Barack Obama is found in Bible prophecy. In Daniel chapter 7, he is the personification of the leopard, which comes up out of the sea. The leopard, of course, is the United States of America. And he is also found in Daniel chapter 11 where he is pictured as the last king of the south. The last king of the south will provoke the last king of the north, who is the premier of Russia, into World War III. Why is Barack Obama considered the last king of the south? Because his forebears came from Kenya, which is due south of Jerusalem. And of course, Moscow is due north of Jerusalem. The reason Barack Obama was elected, because not enough Americans prayed and fasted before the election, myself included. In fact, the Lord gave me a severe case of arthritis in my left shoulder because I did not pray and fast enough for my country. The Lord also revealed something else to me before the election, which I could not let people know until now. On this program, I will reveal how the Lord wants us to act during the years that Obama is President of the United States. The Lord showed me that the presidency of Barack Obama will be similar to the fate of the Israelites as found in Jeremiah chapter 27, where they had to accept the yoke of King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Jeremiah tells the Israelites that they must accept the yoke of the king and that things are going to get worse before they get better. The same is true today. Do not listen to the false prophets who think that America will survive the Great Tribulation. Our fate is that of Babylon in the book of Revelation. We will be burned with fire. However, if enough Americans pray and fast from this day forward, we can mitigate the punishments which God will mete out to us. Let's read what Jeremiah says about the captivity of the Jews under King Nebuchadnezzar. In these passages we will discover that King Nebuchadnezzar's authority came from God himself. Let's look at chapter 27 verse 6. Now have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant. God is saying here that King Nebuchadnezzar, although a tyrant, was an instrument of God's will. That's why the Israelites had to accept the yoke of King Nebuchadnezzar. The same is true for us in America. We must respect the office of the presidency. We must accept our legitimately elected president, President Barack Obama. In the next verse, verse 7 from chapter 27, I am going to substitute the word people for kingdom. And the people which will not serve Nebuchadnezzar, and that will not put their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon, these people I will punish with sword, famine, and pestilence. Now I have a bit of advice for radio talk show hosts, some of which I listen to on a regular basis. Do not criticize President Obama in the way that the mainstream media criticized President Bush. There is no doubt that he is going to put heavy burdens on the American people. But the Lord is telling me and you that we must accept these burdens if we want to survive these years of great tribulation. In chapter 27, verse 14, the prophet Jeremiah writes, Hearken not to the prophets who say to you, you shall not serve the king of Babylon. 
for they prophesy a lie to you. For I have not sent them, and they prophesy a lie in my name. Do not listen to the false prophets who say that Barack Obama does not have legitimate authority. He is an instrument of God Almighty himself. He has a role to play, as predicted in Bible prophecy. We cannot change Bible prophecy. Our best hope as Christians is to accept the legitimate authority of President Barack Obama. In conclusion, we as Christians must understand that Bible prophecy will be fulfilled. But we also have the hope that Jesus gave us, that those days will be shortened for the sake of the elect. Remember also what St. John warns about Babylon, which is England and America. We must go out from her. That doesn't mean necessarily physically leave the country. Why? Because Jesus says he will gather his elect from the four winds at the Battle of Armageddon. That means that there must be survivors throughout the world who will join with him against the forces of the Antichrist and the One World Government. Now if you would like more information, simply write to the address you see on your screen.